Hey everybody, what's going on? So uh, this week we're doing another versus video where we're talking about the conical uh, Spitfires versus the classic shaped Spitfires. Um, I've skated both now and I just kind of switched back to the classic shape after being on a set of conicals. And uh, I don't know, these are just my opinions on what one's better for than others and things like that. Um, I found uh, with the classic shape, they feel a bit faster. Uh, I mean, I can't be 100% sure on that, though, because I I mean, I was skating a 52 conical that had probably worn down to about a 51 or a 50. And then I'm on 53 classics right now. So and they have new bearings. So, of course, it's going to feel faster. Um, but I will say that that less surface area on the ground, um, it does make it a little bit more like slippery when you're like power sliding out of something. Um, I definitely feel like the more surface area will definitely give you more grip as a uh, uh, buddy of mine, Nicholas Landon, post, uh, pointed out on my Instagram. Um, he, he kind of uh, compared it to like maybe how like racing tires, the real wide ones are grippier and stuff like that. So uh, shout out to him. And uh, I posted a poll on my Instagram asking Conical versus Classic. I was so surprised. I thought, because Conical is like the new trend right now. Everybody has the big, fat, wide wheels. And uh, I thought for sure everyone was just going to be like, yeah, Conical, that's what everyone's skating. But it was actually last second took by Classic. It's 53 to 47. I'll put it up here now. Um, but yeah, I was shocked, honestly, that, they, uh, that it was even that close. I thought it was going to be like 15 to, you know, 85 or whatever so yeah i was definitely pretty surprised by that um i've been skating these now for a couple of weeks and uh i definitely have to say that like as far as locking into things i didn't really notice a difference um i'm gonna put a bunch of clips in here of like 50 50 and different uh stuff from like angle iron to a curb to you know that new marble ledge um by the way shout out to the buffalo homies who put in the work on that that spot down there they they redid the ledge and cleaned it all up it's super fun looks amazing thanks for doing that guys appreciate the hard work and uh yeah so here's some clips from this morning um just skating different things <laughs> what i get for filming outside i was trying to not have an echoey uh living room situation again and
so basically what I think classics are better for, um, in my opinion, it's just my opinion, but I like them for like a, like a slappy crook. Uh, unfortunately I couldn't get to the slappy crook spot today because it's kind of by some houses and it's really early in the morning still. I don't want to, I don't want to make anyone angry with my loud skateboarding, but, um, but I think that having that little extra bit here cut out when you're pinched into it, it really like, I don't know. I feel like it locks it in a little bit better. It gets into it easier. And I mean, it, it can slip out easier, but it also gets in a lot easier on slappy crooks, stuff like that. I also feel like feebles on like round rails and stuff um, kind of feel a little bit nicer. Uh, yes, you can slip out, but I mean, when you slip out, when you're locked in on a conical, like it really, like it's a violent, like you'll, you'll fall right out of that with this. It's more of a gradual, like you can feel it happening in my opinion. Um, the other thing too, that I noticed is that as soon as I put these on, I, when I was grinding on my axle here, uh, it went to about here with the conicals. And as soon as I put these on my grind marks now go all the way to the edge. So I feel like you get a little bit more axle out of your, uh, you know, out of your truck, if you will. As far as like locking into stuff, I mean, I feel like the only thing that you would really feel like a hundred percent difference on is something like an angle iron wedge where you get that super straight, uh, 90 degree angle and you're just that you'll feel. But at the same time too, when you're trying to do like something like a Smith grind on something like that with a squared off wheel, I feel like it's kind of a disservice to you almost where. You have to be so precise and you're also like i said you're moving your grind mark in a little bit so on something on a smith grind where you're already like kind of over here like on this part of the truck like it's going to be even further in and uh i think maybe that's why everyone's got the bigger trucks now to compensate for the bigger wheels taking up some of the grind space i don't know but on this eight inch axle the ace 33s with the classic 53 um i typically would like to skate like a 51 but Buffalo, it's just East Coast ground. The weather destroys everything here. So unfortunately, that's not something that we can do really. You know, if you if half the spots you go to, you really need something bigger than a 52 uh, to even get like the speed for it. So um, yeah, unfortunately, that's just kind of what I'm stuck with. I mean, unless I just came to this basketball court every weekend, which you guys would get sick of. So, um, but yeah, having said that, I... Uh, I, I personally think the classic is there's a reason that it's stuck around so long. People still ride it and it got 53% of the votes. Um, I think it's just, if it works, it works. And you know what I mean? Like, I don't think that one wheel specifically has a better advantage than the other. Um, aside from maybe if like you're a big pool skater and you're going real, real fast, I'd probably want that wide wheel for the grip. Um, aside from that, I don't think there's, I mean, if you're just a street skating guy, you know, I mean, I don't really think there's a benefit one way or the other. Uh, like I said, unless you're skating a very sharp ledge and there aren't many of those in Buffalo, uh, which is the other thing I wanted to bring up. If you have a lot of those like beveled edge curbs or ledges in your city, I find that the classics kind of lock into those a little bit better than the conicals. Um, like I said, I feel like you're already kind of limiting your truck space when you're doing that. And those beveled edges, they kind of like make you grind further in anyway. So I just feel like you're grinding like in the middle of your truck most of the time when you skate those. So having that little extra bit of a clearance for the beveled edge, I guess you would say, gives you a better lock in. So I guess it's what you're skating, where you're skating, how you're skating. But for me, I think the classic shape kind of covers most, uh, most areas. Um, except for like big pool skating. Like I said, if I was going to skate like a big pool or a mini mega or something, which I would never, <laughs> uh, but if I had to, I would definitely have a wider truck with a wider wheel. Um, that being said, leave it in the comments below what you guys prefer. Uh, do you think that one wheel shape is better for some things than others? Um, I love talking with you guys about this stuff in the comments, you know, feel free to correct me. If I get something wrong, uh, you know, I'm just stating my opinions. I've been skating for 21 years now, so I've kind of tried a bunch of different stuff, uh, especially over these past few years. But uh, but yeah, that's just my two cents. Uh, let me know if you guys thought this was useful or, you know, if you prefer the 
one shape over the other and, and why. Um, I will say, though, <laughs> the Formula 4 uh, formula, I'm never going back to the, the regular. Uh, I haven't flat spotted a pair of wheels in eight, you know, six, seven years. I don't know how long these things have been out, but ever since Formula 4s came out, that's what I've been riding. And uh, I'm never going to not ride those because I, I do a lot of like tail slide to fakies and stuff. And those used to flat spot the crap out of my wheels. If you got to come out of it 90 and try to like power slide it around, you're just going to flat spot the regular Spitfires like no problem. Uh, but if there's another wheel that you guys want to see me try, like maybe an OJ or something, I've never tried a pair of OJs. So I don't know how those are, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of like stuck on my ways with the Formula 4s. <laughs> but um. But yeah, thanks for watching. I know this was kind of a rambly video. Uh, not too much skating today. It's kind of a long weekend. And uh, to be honest, I kind of just wanted to get a lot of relaxing in this weekend. Next week, I've got a bunch of skate ideas lined up and things like that. So stay tuned, subscribe, leave a like. And like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, what do you prefer? Classic or conical? See you guys.